Hello Sycamore Junior High and welcome back from a wonderful three-day break. Today is April 18th, 2022 and we hope you enjoy this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Hadley. Happy Monday everyone. I'm Khadija. Let's all please unite and honor our free America by standing and placing our hand over our heart as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, individual, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you and please be seated. Now special announcements from our counselors. Students, you have made it through the ELA, ELA portion of testing, next up is math. Here's another short and easy test taking tip. Maintain a positive attitude. Don't let more difficult questions raise your anxiety and steal your valuable testing time. Move on and find success with other questions. Yes, if I feel like it's going to take a long time, I answer all the easy ones and come back to spend more time on the difficult ones, as well as take a deep breath to attack more difficult ones. Speaking of testing, keep in mind that we will not be back with video announcements until Thursday, April 21st. Good luck on math testing for the next few days. Now our administrators will share more of our air testing and fundraising reward opportunities for our possible Friday, May 13th Funathon 2022. I know. I can't wait. All right. Let's revisit Ms. Ranowski's announcement, and Mr. Laracon will follow up with how we can make this happen. All right, staff and students of Sycamore Junior High, it's Mrs. Ranowski here with an exciting announcement for Funathon. This is an event that is coming up on Friday, May 13th. What is it? It's a fundraiser. It's a celebration. It's a party. And again, it is happening Friday, May 13th, during Seventh Bell. Let's talk more specifically about this. This event will be a fundraiser. You'll get more information about this soon, but you will be asked to raise money to support, support clubs, athletics, special events, arts, and more. As you know, COVID has put something of a damper on us being able to do these things. From Ski Club, to athletics, to the fine arts, these funds will help raise money for those clubs to be all that it can be. Funathon is also a celebration. If you give your best effort on the air assessment, you will be able to enjoy the many flavors of Kona Ice. I recommend the Tiger's Blood. It's also a party. Hey, who wants to dunk their teachers at this event? We'll be having a dunk, dunk tank a DJ, cotton ice, and giveaways. So, the more money you raise, the better the party. As you can see here, if you raise at least $500 as an entire student body, everybody will be able to have their phones out. If you raise $1,000, Mr. Aviator will show up. If, as a student body, you raise $5,000, we will open the track for all the students to go out to the track. $10,000, we'll add a DJ. $15,000, we'll get all the gym equipment outside and let you guys play field games. If we raise $20,000, we'll get a magician from the Cincinnati Circus. If you raise $25,000, we'll get a stilt walker that juggles to walk around. And if you raise $30,000, we will put staff members in the dunk tank for you to dunk. So, as a reminder, give your best effort on the air assessment, raise money for Funathon, and expect to have all of this fun on Friday, May 13th. Hey students, remember a video that was shown during Flex last week and this week about Funathon? Well, here's a question. How can I raise money? on Pledge Star, that is the key. An email was sent to you and your parents, guardians, to set up a Pledge Star account. An adult must be the one to set it up. The more money you guys raise as a student body, the more prizes you get at Funathon. So stay tuned for more announcements on the amount of money we have raised. Go Waves! Wow, again, if we all donate $50, we can get everything on the chart. I think it would be fun to see some of the teachers being dunked. <laughs> Definitely. Also, let's continue to be a problem. Also, let's continue to be problem solvers and be the owners of our school. Be the eyes and ears to help Sycamore Junior High be the safest, cleanest, and positive campus possible. Yes, if you see something, say something. Next. Oh, 
Today is National Animal Cracker Day. National Animal Cracker Day on April 18th each year celebrates a childhood favorite. A box of these sweet animal shaped crackers not only provide a delicious snack, but they also offer a little entertainment too. The celebration brings us back to our childhood memories and the many boxes of animal crackers we shared with our friends. Animal crackers refer to a type in the small cookie baked in the shape of a circus or zoo animals, such as a lion, tiger, bear, or elephant. The most common variety is light colored and slightly sweet. However, makers also offer chocolate and frosted varieties too. Even though animal crackers are made with layered dough, much like crackers, they're sweet like cookies. Today's daily survey. So Thursday survey asked if schools should make students take a music class. The majority of you at 58% said schools should not mandate students to take a music class. The other 42% of you do believe schools should. Also, make sure you go to fill out today's daily survey in the communications classroom. Wow, those results were very close. Next up, birthdays. Happy birthday to Caden Jay. We hope you have a wonderful day to celebrate. Love you, Caden. Now over to our wonderful, magnificent Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily announcements. All right, um, if you're a seventh grade boy interested in playing uh, soccer at the junior high next year, seventh grade boy interested in playing soccer at the junior high next year, there will be an informational meeting this Friday, April 22nd, during Flex 21 in room 240. That is Mr. Tanaka's room. Now, remember, you can only play for one team at a time during that same season, according to the Ohio High School Athletic Association. So if you're thinking on playing on another team, et cetera, et cetera, you can only play on one team at a time for the same sport. All right. If you can't make the meeting, please die, stop by Mr. Tanaka's room to receive the handout. Tickets are officially on sale for the Sycamore Junior High Theater production of Willy Wonka Jr., so it will take place on April 28th, 29th, and 30th at the High School Theater at 7 p.m. You can purchase tickets at Aves Theater Org for $10 or at the door for $12. We the people, don't forget to return your books to Mr. Hammer in room 200, Mr. Gutermuth, or Mrs. Carter in the Media Center as, as soon as possible. Put a post note on the front cover so we know whose book it is, and stay tuned for the time and date of the upcoming after-party celebration. All right. You always get into a party. All right. And if you're truly passionate about science, technology, engineering, art, and math, STEAM, the Sycamore Robotics, Robotics FTC will be having a virtual info session for 7th through 12th graders Thursday, April 21st from 7 to 8 o'clock. All right. Please check the school's, now, school's newsletter, the S'more, or your email for the link to this meeting. And again, that'll be Thursday, April 21st, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. That's it for me. I know it's raining and I know it's Monday, but try and enjoy the day anyway. Don't forget we got testing tomorrow, laptops charged, all that other stuff. Come in prepared to do your best on Tuesday and Wednesday. And we'll see you, I'll see you again on Thursday. Bye-bye. And now students of the week. Alrighty, good morning everyone. Hope you're having a great day. I am here to present this week's Students of the Week. We've got five this week. First, Mr. Ty Brewer, come on up here. Congratulations. Certificate. Chick-fil-A. Thank you, sir. Right that way. Next up, we have Caitlin Gambasini. Congratulations. There you are. There you are. Great work. Next up, Anaya Johnson. Congratulations. There's that. There's that. Wonderful. Next, Milan Pope. Excellent work. There you go. There you go. And last but certainly not least, Ophelia Sidmore. Come on over here. Congratulations. There you go. There you are. Thanks, everybody. Hope you guys have a great week. What's for lunch today? For lunch today, we'll have popcorn chicken. We'll also serve hamburgers and cheeseburgers. Sounds good. Okay guys, remember to nominate the staff member who you think should be recognized for their impact on our school. Yes, you can do that over on the SJH News Crew Communications Classroom. Also, good luck on testing the next couple of days, and we'll see you Thursday. Now for the joke of the day. Take note, this joke is in honor of Air Map Testing Week. Why do plants hate math? I don't know why. Because it gives them square roots. <laughs> <laughs> Go Bye. ahead!